Hi everybody, it's Diane with Sew Boutique and today is Fabric Friday and we are sitting in front of our Nuance Gradation Boutiques. The grouping of fabric I really want to focus on today is one of our bundles that we have named The Gatherings and it is a group of amazingly beautiful colors for this season, autumn and fall. And um, I really love this grouping of fabric. I think it's gonna be really fun for us to put all of these together in a project. But before we get to some more specifics about this bundle, I wanna share with you, for those of you who are new, what are Nuance Gradation fabrics? are and um, they are let's do the specifics they are 100% cotton they're 45 inches wide and they are primarily used and probably 99% of everybody uses them in quilts or in um, table runners or any project that's typically a kind of a quilting project um, however we also make garments out of them <laughs> So in my world, um, you can make a kimono jacket. We also have some aprons. We have so many different things that you can make out of the gradation. This, this collection of fabrics is what I should call them because they're simply cotton. They are a cotton fabric and um, you can use cotton for anything. It is not just for quilts like the one over here. Um, but let me share with you what they look like and why they're called gradations. Each one of the fabrics in its own color, we have about 30 of them behind us here in our collection right now, they transition in color from a light to a dark or between two or three different color families. So we have two groupings of these fabrics. So this is color cardinal. And if you can see here, it transitions from a lighter red over into a very deep red. And if I hold this up, you can distinctly see three to four different shades of Cardinal Red. Let me share with you cinnamon. Probably more of a, I think this is probably one you think about the most, which is just a transition of color, one single color, from light to dark. And again, holding this up, you can see the transition between three or four different shades. And this is cinnamon. One more I'm gonna share with you, and this transitions be between more than one color. So this changes in color. This is Adobe, and it's one of my favorites. And it changes from a gold all the way over to really kind of a burnt orangey brown. And here, definitely, if I were to hold this up, you can see one, two, it's really fun to see this in the camera, um, <laughs> three, and then four shades. These fabrics are perfect for landscapes, for applique, um, cutting out leaves. I did this recently. Um, if you're following us on our YouTube channel and on our website, you'll see that we put together a table setting in our dining room that uses our um, 115 inch wide fabric for the tablecloth. We coordinated it with linen for napkins and a cover for our, tape, or our plate charger and also the table runner. And then I used this uh, Adobe plus the cinnamon to cut out leaves to match our plates and our china. And it really pulled the whole thing together. And it was fun to incorporate so many different fabrics and types of fabric into one setting. And so that was just one way to use the gradations. And you can see behind me here, um, as well as our garment, but each one of these projects behind me is 100% gradation. So whether you cut the colors apart, like what's in this flower garden quilt, that flower garden is only made up of five fabrics. 
because there's so much color change in the boldness of each color portion, like Adobe, you end up getting so many variations of color in one fabric. And same with the, the rays of hope right over here. It's just a beautiful way, each one of those rays that comes out of the center of that wall hanging really shows how each one of the gradations change in intensity from light to dark. Um, so think about these fabrics when, when you are looking at your quilt patterns or when you're thinking about, oh my goodness, I need to have a light, medium and dark blue or orange like the cinnamon um, or red or whatever it happens to be for your project um, what yardage do you need of that and can you get all of that out of one fabric like these nuance gradations and actually let me grab a couple of patterns i i really love some of the patterns that are on the market um, today that really share um, the concept of gradations. And I think it really, these are a few that we have on our website and um, they're great. Like this is uh, ombre lattice. And I guess when you think about the word ombre, that's also a way to describe these fabrics is um, that whole ombre effect and change in color. So this one here, look at that. It's called ombre lattice. And it's just a beautiful way to cut your fabric, simple strips, simple two and a half inch strip set. And it's how you sequence the colors to make it share in that ombre feel. So this one only has a black, which we have our tuxedo. We have gossamer blue, which is our lightest white. And all of the shades you'd like to mix and match into this pattern. Here's another one that I really love too. And it's the same designer. It's called Lovely Ombre Cabins. Look at this. It's a wonderful way to share and to look at each one of the gradation shades. And so the yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, teal, you know, all of these shades are would just be so easy to, to cut out of our gradations. Another one is Ombre Gems. This one I'm actually planning. I did a little tester block and I really love how it turned out. So we're gonna work on this one. And again, it can, this one is a throw and a small, um, a large throw and a small throw. And I just think this would be so fun. And beautiful in the shades of the gatherings, I might say, for something that I would have um, in our living room as a lap quilt it would be beautiful. This one I'm actually, this is a new one that we added to our website and it's called Nordic Star. And I think this would be wonderful for our blues. And also I'm gonna challenge myself and, and make this up into a completely different colorway. But it shows how you can uh, put your blocks together to have the change in shade from one portion of the quilt to another. Very fun. And what I'm gonna do because I think probably the most complicated portion of working with these gradations is how do I convert the yardage that's needed here? It does get a little complicated if it's not written exactly for the nuance gradations. So how much fabric do I need in each color family? Cut it apart to actually make each one. So in the description below, I'm gonna give you a little cheat sheet and just download that cheat sheet and it will give you how instructions on how to calculate how much of each color shade you might need for your project. And I might use one of these as an example, just so that you have a real life example, um, but it's really easier than you think. And on our website, you will see for each one of our nuance fabrics that we have an option, the minimum yardage that is purchasable is a half a yard when it's running yardage, is a half a yard and then it's in half yard increments. Um, there is an option in there for 45 inches, so a yard and a quarter. And there's a reason for that. Um, and you'll see that in the description 
um, of how to recalculate below, okay? So I don't wanna get into all that detail, but I really wanna go back and start sharing with you our fabrics that are in this gatherings collection. And let's get started. So um, here are each one of the fabrics. I wanna take them apart and see, we fold these in such a way so that you can see the lightest portion, the darkest portion, and the middle. So if you're in our store, you'll be able to see that as well. But the first one in our collection is the linen. Light to dark, but it's extremely light. This would be a great background piece. So this is linen. I'm gonna go the other direction here. This is our brown from light to dark. So this stays within one color family. And I'm gonna back up here a little bit so you can see the light to dark of the brown. Next is cinnamon. You've already seen cinnamon. I love cinnamon. And adobe. So you can see we're going from a very light tan all the way through the brown family into the golds and browns. And we always have to have a red. And I just love, like I was showing before, the cardinal. And you can envision vines and leaves changing into that red tone this time of year. I guess I just always relate everything to applique and landscape and things like that when I think of these fabrics. And we always have to have a green. So this is Fairway. Changes from a, a light to dark here in one color family. I am always making leaves, vines, um, and you can cut these on the bias and get a really beautiful vine. You can fuse onto any project. Um, but these are just a great way to have a different shade of green. You can stack up different shades of a light green to a dark green on a leaf, and it's just beautiful. The next fabric in this collection is Copen Blue. So now we're getting into a really, I love this, beautiful shade of Copen. And again, from light to dark. teal. We have to have a teal. So now we're taking the combination of blue and green and we've got ourselves a beautiful teal. And then the last one in our collection is Blue Nights. And it's, we do have one that's more black than this one is, but it changes from really like a gray uh, chrome silver all the way through to a darker gray. And this does read blue, that's why it's called Blue Nights. So when you put this next to a black, you're going to see hints of blue running through it. So this is the Blue Nights. And that's our collection of what we call the gatherings. And I just think, I have a project that I am uh, working on. And I'm gonna put up my little um, idea. <laughs> You're gonna see a basket. <laughs> and on, in the, on this basket, if, I don't know, are you somebody who will see um, quilt designs or patterns or ideas in things that um, you see every place you go, like if you see a tile floor or you see a wallpaper design or um, something like that, that kind of says, hmm, that would be a really, really fun quilt pattern. Um, I see that in this basket. And when we were doing some decorating for our um, table, the fall table setting project, I looked at this and I said, oh my gosh, this just reads nuanced gradations. And it just reads this grouping of um, 
fabric, the fabric shades from the gatherings. And so I'm going to share with you our little project of how I converted this basket into a lap quilt. And um, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here is our basket quilt. Um, now it's just the top and it needs to be quilted and I have a couple of other ideas as well, but here is, remember what the basket looked like, okay? So I'm just holding up a quarter of it and it looks like the basket, right? <laughs> so here is the quilt top and I'm going to step back so that you can see what I did. And this measures about... I think it's almost square. It measures 54 by 58. And my intention was to not have it go the direction of the basket be exactly the same, which is this. Um, it's sitting this way. But my kind of intention was to be just a little bit different and turn it so that the stripes were going up and down. Um, but it could be either way. And I have to tell you that I really like how it turned out. And so I will put a little project on our website so that you can see it. And here is a little bit about this. So it does measure about 54 by 58. And my thought for all of these fabrics was and okay so i started with um a half a yard of each fabric so the bundle is the half yard bundle and i used four inch strips and i wanted to have the math help me out here and so i actually cut each strip into three individual segments and so i only had let's see I only had this much left of each one of the strips, so a very tiny amount, but we can do something with these. And since these are sewn together with um, on a diagonal, like you would if you were going to piece uh, binding strips, um, and that'll be in the pattern as well, but, but just like that. And so we're gonna have a triangle that we cut off, two triangles. And so for each one of the joins, we have this many triangles and I see pillow out of this. I don't know how much this is actually going to make, but we're going to figure that out because I'm going to stitch these together and create um, some form of a pillow or if there's really a lot, I might do a table runner or we could make coasters. We can do whatever to sort of accent the lap quilt that's going to be in the living room now and I have five inch strips left over from each one of the nine fabrics that are in the bundle and I I could have cut another strip set and this can be bigger with a half yard bundle this can be um, you can probably get it to almost a twin or a very long lap so there is definitely more to play with here um, but I wanted to get my binding out of it as well and possibly get some more accents for whatever I do with these triangles. So that's why I stopped. Um, I like to really plan how I'm going to use up the entire bundle. And that's my goal for this really, really fun project. So follow me along with this um, later and I'll give you updates on our Facebook and Instagram accounts as well as next Fabric Friday. I'll share with you what this looks like quilted and whether or not I end up with pillows or table runners or what I'm going to do with it. Um, but my goal is to use up every little portion of nine half yards of fabric. So um, now I need to find a backing. And so, <laughs> so I'm going to need your help to figure that out as well as I have a question. What should we name this quilt? Um, I'm not very creative when it comes to names. The only thing that came to my mind was the basket. Um, but for those of you watching this are the only ones that are ever going to know that that's where this inspiration came from. So just remember that 
Your inspiration for projects um, don't always have to come from a purchased pattern. Um, we love to have those and we love to, to have others do all the math and do all of the calculations and all that stuff for us. And it really is very um, easy to find something that we like with all of the patterns that exist on the market. Um, but if there's something that you see figure it out and create something that is just yours and your inspiration alone. So that is our little project and I hope you enjoyed it. And last week we did not do a giveaway. Can you believe that? Um, but this week we are. And so we are going to give away um, next Fabric Friday. I will pick a name to receive a, one of our bundles of the gatherings and I think it will be a good addition to your collection as well. So make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter and go to our website and do that if you haven't already and that you're subscribed to our um, YouTube channel and it always helps to give us some comments below on ideas and things that um, you like and share about our uh, video here or anything share with us what you're doing with your with your nuanced gradations that you have and um, ideas for things that would be a great project so until next time keep sewing smiling and sharing <laughs>